everybody's quest and search in life is to find your place, right? right where you belong. And, yep. and these movies definitely do that, for sure. Yeah. And, you know, in that way, they don't, when you say that, I sit there and I go, wow, is that a nostalgic thought? But it's really not a nostalgic thought. It used to be it used to be at the forefront a lot more. There were a lot more. If you look back at, you know, uh, even though the Hepburn stuff, that was they were all and Tracy, they were all. Tracy, they were all forms of romantic comedies. There was there were so many of them. Um, and but you don't see as many anymore. But no, that's not a nostalgic reason because they wanted things to be real. Like give me real, mm. give me mm -hmm. reality, give me gritty, give me how dirty can we make it? How you know kind of you know hardcore can it right. be? You know, and once life gets hardcore like it did this past year, <laughs> you know, and it gets really tough and reality really hits you and you go, wow, things could be really, you know, serious out here. Yeah. You kind of crave that again. And I, I hear you. That is, that is one of the joys of being able to kind of reminisce on, on this movie today, yeah. you know, and hope like we have, have some more like that. And, and we did pretty tale. good with this, this, this movie too. You know, this movie's in the Guinness Book of World Records. It is? Yes, because we were number one at the box office. And I also, Love Don't Cost a Thing, which I did for my J-Lo album, but was at the end of the movie, was also number one that week. And that has never been done. Yes. That's the only time it's been done. Not by male, female, nothing. We are in the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> Bring it. Like my daughter Bring does. <laughs> Do you, your kids must be into the TikTok, right? Uh, and into the, like the Gen Z no, no, yeah. kind of we like. Got a few things going. I've seen a few poses around. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, um, so we have a little you, history with this movie. You know, you, people don't know this. I always say this about you. Because um, you are such a, you prepare so well for everything you do. I think you're incredible. I, I love your intentionality. I love how deliberate you are. Um, hey. Quiet dog. We got dogs. Somebody, somebody drove down the street and the dog, the guard dogs are going to get them. Um, but I remember doing one of my great compliments to, to you as, a, as an actress, uh, besides that you love to get in there and do the dirty work and the hard work, is that if we had a two minute scene, you would, the first take would be a minute 59. The second take would be 201. The third take would be two minutes. The fourth take would be 159. I mean, you had you would have <laughs> things down. You love choreography. I even do. Your, even your roles, you know, in, in acting as well. Um, and I, I love your deliberation and your intentionality with that and the preparation you put into stuff like that. And yeah. you see it. I mean, you do it across the board. I mean, I used to call you, I've always called you a quad threat, which is actually underselling because quad would only mean four threat. So I don't know what a seven template threat would be so let's call it that aren't you kind of seven-handed you what I don't, don't know. you do i i do too much i need to sit down <laughs> that's well, what you're I not gonna do. stop no i mean you love it no 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 you're not no, looking I'm not to gonna retire stop. you're I looking keep, to turn you know it on what, matthew i keep saying i'm gonna slow down and this year slowed us all down which was great and i cannot tell you what a blessing it was with all the difficulties and all the uncertainty and all the fear how lovely it was to be at home yeah. and have dinner every single night with my kids and and my man and just be here yeah. that was so great but i keep telling myself i'm going to slow down and i do a little bit i'm going to incorporate and take with me into 2021 and into the the subsequent years a, a, a bit of a bit more balance i right. think that is for sure but you're right i love what i do it's all a big dance for me Life is all a big dance for me. And even in the scenes and in the choreography of it, you know, I love to practice it. I love to make it better. I love to make it more beautiful. And then I love to just kind of let go and let it happen yeah. every time. And to me, that's, that's the fun of it is, is the being prepared, is the knowing that in the moment that you can let go and soar yeah. and, just, and just live it. And, uh, and you're right. It kind of comes out the same amount of time every time because you're so prepared. You right. so have done it so many times. So, yeah, I, that, I is, write that about, is true. Um, I, you know, I, I, wrote, I, I went away and I wrote a book, you right? Green yes, light. I was just gonna ask you about that green light. Yeah, so, well, so green lights, that's me on the cover as you can see, but the real thing about green lights is that, that 
all the red and yellow lights in our life eventually turn green, right? Like all the hardships that we have, right? Yeah. Eventually in the rear view mirror life, we go, oh, there was a lesson I was supposed to learn there. You know what I mean? So that's sort of the basis of the book, the theme. I book. love that. Um, I love that. Oh, you have not sent me this book yet. I will send you uh, this book. You know book what? Don't yet. send it to me. I'm going to buy it. I will send you this book. <laughs> I yet. can get it. I can one, get one it. One of the things, though, one of the early chapters that I write about is what you're, what you're talking about. You have to prepare to have freedom. You have to do the work early so you can play tomorrow. And that's the preparation you're talking about. That, yeah, if you get enough, you get prepared enough. You choreograph the situation. You anticipate what it's going to be. You show up and you you dance it. Then you, you just dance fun. and you follow the music. Yeah. Yeah. It's so true. When did you write that? Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because I had heard about it. I went away about two years ago. You know me on my little walkabouts. I put on a backpack, got in my truck, got my favorite, <laughs> got my favorite favorite drink, my favorite steaks, and a whole bunch of water, and I went away to the desert for about 52 days on my own. What? By yourself or with yeah. your kids and the family? No, solo. And and came oh back God. with came back with this and wow. then edited it over the last year and a half. And um, been fun. Been going around. I've never done a book tour before. Very similar to doing a movie tour, except I'm doing it remotely like everyone else is this year. Um, but you know what? This remote thing, talking about assets of this time, um, like the other morning, I am in via remotely through Zoom. I'm in Italy at 9 a.m., England at 10, New York at 11, LA at noon, and having lunch with my kids at one live in person. That's amazing. Couldn't have done Not that. Not bad. You know? Not bad. No, it's yeah. pretty cool. Which, <laughs> it's pretty you know, she kept to me talk about, you know, the things that we're learning to, you know, reevaluate. Like you said, you're gonna slow down balance a little bit. I've got my mom who's 89. She's with, been with her grandkids every day for 10 months. Amazing. That wouldn't have happened. Never. We wouldn't have brought her to live with us. Mm -hmm. uh, the dogs are getting petted longer, so they're happy. because They're, they're, more they're time. super happy. You know? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I and your relationships even. Your relationships even. It's just like learning each other. You, you forget. Like, you're always in the kind of grind of just surviving life and doing what you got to yeah. do. And taking care of the kids and you doing your thing and me doing my thing and, and just to sit there and be like, what's going on with you? Yeah. Where's yeah. your mind at? Yeah. Well, how, how are you feeling about life? Is everything good? What do you good? love to do? <laughs> yeah. Know? What, do you, what, what should we do on? together? Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. we're yeah. not working. Yeah. You know? Um, so that was all a blessing. It was all a yeah. blessing in, in the craziest way. Like you said, that kind of green light thing you were just talking about, like all the red lights and the yellow lights, the things that look like they put you to a stop actually were showing you exactly where to go. For some reason, yeah. You know, so we don't notice it sometimes, I think, when we're in a crisis and we think like, is this how it's going to be? Am I going to be this frustrated or whatever? Well, no, you're, we're usually not. But, you know, sometime tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, maybe even 10 years from now or maybe 100 years from now, we realize, ah, I was supposed to take inventory at that time. Oh, I needed a pause. I had to have a pause forced on me via a doggone pandemic, and I didn't yeah, even know the I The universe it. intervened. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So what have you been doing in this past year? What, is your, what, do you, what do you have coming up? What can we look forward to? We have the book. We have the well, book. Well, the book, I've been touring the book now for like 14 weeks. And hey, wow. people still want to talk about it. I'm willing to talk about it and, 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 and keep selling it and stay on the stay, gr 